On this trip, I'm headed to, to South Africa and I have stops in Victoria Falls, which is located in Zimbabwe and Zambia in Africa. And once they invite themselves in your room, you will never like it again because <laughs> <laughs> you will find that I took a flight to Johannesburg and for Johannesburg I stopped in Durban, stayed some time there and then I flew to Victoria Falls. City center of Victoria Falls. What type of animal is that? These are, uh, these are morphic antelopes, but these are kudus. Oh, okay. Yes, these are. I spent two nights in Victoria Falls and I stayed on the Zimbabwe side. If you're interested in going to Zambia, there are a lot more options for chain hotels in Zambia than there were in Zimbabwe. I did not have any phone service while in either countries, I had to rely on the Wi-Fi. Right, warm sit room. Welcome to Victoria Falls Safari Lodge. Wow, this is nice. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. So, oh, so what is it? Yes. Which part of the world are we from? Uh, America. North America. Oh, yes. <laughs> I stayed in a room that faced the watering hole and there were warthogs and all types of animals on the property, but it's common there. Here's the room. I didn't even notice that there wasn't even a TV in it. You can really just enjoy nature and relax at this property. There's nothing like an African sunset. For dinner, I went to the Boma, which is located on the same property as Victoria Safari Lodge. I made a reservation through the hotel. While you're here, check out the Travel Well store located below, which is travel quote apparel and accessories. Use code YouTube for a discount and shop now. It includes buffet dinner and a drum show. There was a lot to choose from, including Mopani worms, which I skipped. We call them Nemo in vernacular. And here for our white meat, we've got a smoked crocodile tail for the white meat. And here, this is a sweet corn fritter. Okay. And here for the red meat, you said you don't eat red meat. Oh, no. <laughs> but we had a marinated impala capaccio and buffalo vito. Oh, okay. It's going to be something else. <laughs> All right. Thank you. So please enjoy the smoked crocodile tail.
Afterwards, I went to bed. The hotel turned down the mosquito net. And the next day, I woke up early to go on a tour solo and ended up with a black family from the US. And we went to Victoria Falls on the Zimbabwe side. As a tip, make sure you wear a poncho. Don't be like me, because I think I ruined my DSLR without using a poncho. I probably should have just left my DSLR in the room and used my phone. So make sure you have some type of cover for your cameras and a poncho for yourself. now there are 16 points on the Zimbabwe side we just walk through the rainforest I'm so glad that the weather is holding up and I'm able to get good pictures and the sorbet and now we are directly in front of the cinema as we got further along, the waterfalls were not as heavy as they were towards the beginning. This is because we were getting closer to the Zambia side and just due to the time of year. So I've made it to the last point, the 16th point at the end of the tour. Yeah. And but it is low season right now, so the falls are actually not that good. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Shout out to this family for taking my photos and also just letting me crash their tour. And by the end of the tour, they were calling me Cousin Kim. <laughs> In the next video, I'm actually going to walk across this bridge and enter into Zambia. I was able to get a certain visa that allowed me to go between both countries.